say you're a brain in a box, Casey. people and keep alert. This sector's supposed to be crawling with Vakar fighters. Casey, anything on the scanners? <laughs> Never mind. You got five Krakow class interceptors coming in hot and heavy, Case. Look, your ejection pod hit some debris. You got hit pretty bad, but the med techs are trying to fix you up with life support and artificial senses. You just hang in there, Case, and be okay. Audio link is activated. Cutting in visual in three, two, one. Switch on neural interface. You got it. Casey? It's Aerie. Hi. Uh... Look. Your mind has been placed in a cerebral support mechanism. It's a device that when... She's trying to say you're a brain in a box, Case. Zach, could you let me handle this, please? Uh, all right. Look, it's kind of hard to explain. Here. Why don't I let you take a look at yourself? Now, you may not look the same on the outside, but I know it's you on the inside. And we need to know if you can respond. If you can, use the virtual interface in front of you to transmit a yes. need to know if you can respond. If you can, use the virtual interface in front of you to transmit a yes. Yes. Yes! Great. It works. Case, you uh, probably haven't heard, but the war is over. 
We flamed their butts at Exeter 3. The Vicar lost a third of their fleet. Men. They went running with their tails between their legs straight to the Taladarans, practically begged them to negotiate a peace treaty. Of course, you know, that put us out of a job. But hey, war is hell, right? So right now you're aboard the Artemis, finest salvaging vessel in the sector. Zack and I cobbled her together from a couple of surplus Alliance transports. Yeah, not to mention the engines that we sort of uh, borrowed from an Orion-class destroyer. May not look like much from the outside, but she could tug Terra Firma right out of orbit. Well, we thought we'd help salvage some of the Vakar ships we helped disable in the first place. It seems only fair. The way we see it, there's a lot of valuable cargo out there just floating around, free for the taking. And we figured you'd be interested in joining us, so we liberated you from the lab. Zack hardwired your interface into the ship systems. It's good to have you back, Casey. So, uh, what do you say, guys? Let's do some hunting!
Okay, start up all subsystems now. Run your diagnostics. Okay, now deploy the probe, Casey. Opening probe bay doors now. Casey, I gotta ask you, what does it feel like having your eyes and ears floating around in a little ball while the rest of you is back here with us? Knock it off, Zack. I'm just asking Casey a question. <sighs> okay, Casey, your guidance system's pretty much automatic, so you can concentrate on the job. Most other functions are up to you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Close call there, buddy. Collision avoidance seems to be working. All right, let's try your computer link, see how it works. Why don't you run uh, an ID check on this pile of junk, see if you can get the name of the ship, and maybe get some idea of what the cargo might have been. Okay, you're coming up on some cargo door controls. Right there, Case. All right, now try using your laser torch, upper right-hand switch. Should pump enough juice into the system, pop that door wide open. Be careful, Casey. Vac our been known to booby-trap their hulks. Casey, 
about traps. You just blew our only probe. Now we have to go back and start all over again. Thank you. Nice job, Casey. Hmm, dark in there. Better kick in the floodlight. Whoa! God, those things are ugly. Why, Zach? I always thought you found aliens quite... attractive. Hey, 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 hey. I was drunk that night, you know that. And besides, it swore to me that it was female. <laughs> Casey, stop there. Let's get a good look around this place.
can you grab that floating object? Good. Now run an analysis on it. Well, at least we got a nice souvenir. No way. It's a Vakar war medal, Zack. Belongs with their dead. May as well come on in, Casey. It's just not our day. Sectors picked clean. We need to go further out. I agree. But where? The Magellan Cluster? Sirius? LV-426? Oh, not there. You know what I was thinking about? Remember that time we surprised the hell out of that wing of Vicar cruisers asleep at the wheel? Yeah, Mizar system, right? Yeah. Man, I never saw so many ejection pods in my life. Wait, you want to go back to Mizar? Why not? Well, Harry, I doubt anybody's been out there since the war. No, it's too close to the Vakar border. We'd be violating the Taladaran Treaty. So? Who's gonna know? Doesn't sound like such a good idea to me, Zach. Come on, Harry. What are you afraid of? We don't have to go by the book anymore. Welcome home, dear. Oh, Casey, you're back. Look, I say we take a vote. Who's for going to Mizar? Oh, come on, Harry. It's not like it's in Vakar space. It's a buffer zone. Nobody even patrols out there. There's gonna be some tasty salvage. Yeah. Ah, oh, I don't know why I let you talk me into these things. Maybe you let me talk you into something else someday. I heard that. I know you were supposed to. Hey, uh, Case, what do you say? Mizar? No? Well, guess what? You're not only a weenie, you're outvoted. Ha! Okay then, Mizar it is. We got a nice clear terminus. 190 million clicks off the stellar midpoint. Let's do it.
always online. Zach! Zach, wake up! You okay? Oh, jeez. You say I'm a lousy pilot. Look at this. Damn it, Zach. You're the one that told me this position was clear. That's what the scanners said. Let's run some instrument checks. Let's see what kind of damage we sustained. Mary, scanners only pick up metal and rock. This... This thing must be made of something else. Ah, uh, shit. Every one of our drive systems is down, even thrusters. Oh, great. Great, so we're dead in the... <laughs> uh, you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Uh, good news? There is none. The bad news is this thing's hurtling straight for the sun's corona. It's taken us with it. And there's no way to get clear without our thrusters. Do we still have short-range communications? Yeah, yeah. Send a distress call. To who? What, you think this thing is a ship? Zach, I don't know, but maybe whoever or whatever's on board can help us. Yeah, they're not too torqued at you for bashing in their front door. Zach, just do it! All right, sending distress signal. Jeez. Casey, why don't you run an ID check? See if there's any known ship with a configuration like that. Surprise, unknown. Yeah. Any response to our distress call? Zip, dead air. So, either we figure out how to alter our course... Or we're toast. ...in about four hours. Great. This is great. Casey, better activate your probe. Let's see what we're dealing with out there. Casey, get it together, will you? Opening probe bay doors now. Be careful, Casey.
Harry, I've never seen anything like this. I doubt any human has. Is it some kind of composite? Alloy or secreted material? I mean, did they, did they build this stuff or grow it? This is a complete unknown, Harry. The galaxy's full of unknowns, my young son. I mean, look, they didn't even discover the Titan rock dwellers till four years ago, and that was in our own system. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember hearing that. Uh, the miners sunk a shaft right into the main colony. Practically wiped out the whole race before that exolinguist established communications. Yeah, well, let's be careful, because you're no exolinguist. Hey, hey, I happen to speak 27 languages. Yeah, three phrases. More beer, where's the head, and maybe hey, you want to come by and see me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute, what's that? Uh, meteor hit? I don't think so. Hold your position, Casey. Zach and I are joining you. What, what, we are? You got a better idea? I guess we don't have much of a choice. All right, let's suit up. Casey, I'm gonna check my headset cam now. Here's mine, Case. Stand by, we're on our way, Casey. Approach. Go ahead, Casey. Give it a try. 